It was once used to measure the ozone layer. Now NASA says one of its orbiters is about to hit home. A 20-year-old upper atmosphere research satellite is expected to crash back to Earth this week, but where is anyone's guess? Joining me now, NBC Space Analyst James Oberg. James, good morning. Good morning, Alex. Oh, wait, is this a bad movie waiting to happen? Alex, think about it. In life, the things we anticipate, good and bad, it's that's where the emotion is, not the actual event. And boy, are we anticipating, because we can see this far in advance, and we only have to think about video from Reno to realize that death can fall on us from the skies at random. So that, that, that was horrifying images. We, we can't get out of it. So, so NASA's trying to explain this statistically yeah. as if we're all rocket scientists. Well, okay. W what we are getting, um, these numbers, 57 degrees north latitude, 57 degrees south latitude. H how big of an area is that in terms of, say, square mileage? It's everywhere people live, practically, except for people up in Spitsbergen and then down in the South Pole. And it's because the, the satellite was checking the atmosphere all around the Earth. It wouldn't help to just check the atmosphere over the equator, so it's got to go where the air is. And that's just the way it was launched. But wait, no, wait, wait a minute. all the time. Okay, okay, no, no. But, but, but you're telling me, James, that this is an, an area, this 57 degrees latitude north and south. This is, I mean, you can't just say this is, you know, New York City or somewhere else. I mean, where Actually, is this? Do people can. live here? Actually, you can, because the path can be projected out about a million miles ahead, circling the Earth. And in the final couple of days, uh, you can tell really who's on that line, who's not. It doesn't matter what the odds are. People are worried about it, and it's a natural thing. You have to change what you're looking forward to. What I'm looking forward to is a spectacular, harmless fireworks show in the sky. Why? Because it doesn't. It, it breaks up. Is that what's expected to happen? Up, okay. up, and the pieces actually slow down for the most part. Now, if you're spectacularly unlucky, something could, could one hitting you or hitting your dog. But in the, what I'm going to be doing myself in the final few hours is hoping it's heading for me because I want to watch the show. All right. So you're telling me not to panic, right? Uh, not about this. Uh, let's get we'll get to a longer list later, but not about this time. <laughs> OK, James Oberg. Good to hear from you then concerning what you're telling us. Thank you. <laughs>